Good morning, everyone. Today we're looking at electricity use. Now, you will remember this equation, P equals W over delta T. We talked about power yesterday, and now we are going to use that one. Now, we used to have power in watt, and energy in joule, and the time in seconds. But we've got a problem when we're buying electricity from Eskom or somewhere else, because now the electricity use is not measured in joule. There's an alternative to joule. They are not measuring it in, in joule. They're measuring it in kilowatt hours. That's what they call one unit. So now we need to use kilowatt hours instead of joule. And now one kilowatt hour is the energy used when one kilowatt is used for one hour. Now we want cost of that electricity, we want to know how much we're spending. It's the tariff and that is always giving in rand per kilowatt hours and we have to multiply that with the energy but the energy is in kilowatt hours, it's not in joule. So when you don't want this answer in joule, you want this answer in kilowatt hours that means I have to put this one in, in kilowatt and put that one in, in hours so that I will end up with an answer in kilowatt hours. And then I can multiply that by rand per kilowatt hours. Since I'm not using joule, I'm kilowatt hours. I want to know how many joule in one kilowatt hour. Let's look at how many joules. So we are looking at an energy. So P equals W over delta T. When the energy is one kilowatt hours, it means one kilowatt for one hour. So over here, we're going to put P in one kilowatt. But if I want to end up with joule, I am going to put this only in watt. So this is going to be 1000 watt. And then the time, one hour, that will be 60 times 60, so 3,600 seconds. Right, so now I'm going back to the old units because I want to go back to the old joule unit. So that's just that, and then you end up with the energy being 3600000 joule. So that's how many joules in one kilowatt hours. So that's just a different unit for energy. You can use kilowatt hours or you can use joule. So remember, one kilowatt hour is one kilowatt, which is a thousand watt, for one hour, which is 60 times 60, 3,600 seconds. And then you end up with the number of joules for one kilowatt hour. Right, let's do two examples of this. The first one is calculate the cost to use 3000 watts. So they're giving us power for two hours. They're giving us delta T and they're giving us the tariff. Right, now remember cost is just tariff times the energy used, but you need that in kilowatt hours. So I'm going to work with P equals W over delta T. And remember now, since I'm working towards kilowatt hours, I'm going to put this in in kilowatt and hours. So power in kilowatts, that will be 3 kilowatts. And remember, if you are putting something into an equation and it's not the standard SI unit, it's some different unit. You need to show that, right? So don't just write three and leave it there. Tell them, I know I'm putting in kilowatts. And energy, and then time, and now we're putting in the time in two hours, and that will give me my energy used as two times three, six, and that will now be kilowatt hours right kilowatt hours so that is the energy used so we're not working towards joule we are now working to kilowatt hours then you will say the tariff is one rand 40 per kilowatt hours and i have times six for kilowatt hours used and then you end up with eight rand 40. 
which doesn't sound much, but remember, you've got a lot of different things in your house, all of them using energy, so it's adding and adding and adding to your bill. In the second question, they're asking us how long, so we are looking for delta T. They're giving us a microwave oven, so we've got the P functioning for there. They give us the total cost. They've got 100 rand, and they're giving us the tariff as well. Okay, so cost is always my tariff times the energy used. Now the total cost is now 100 rands and the tariff is 1 rand 80 per kilowatt hour and then I just need the energy from there and that ends up being 55,60 kilowatt hours and now I'm going to say okay so let's use P equals W over delta T now We've got that energy, 55,60. I'm not using joules, so I'm going to show them I'm using kilowatt hours. And I'm looking for the time. That's my unknown. And the power. Now remember, if we are working with kilowatt hours, not joules, then I need to put this in as 0 0,8 kilowatts. And then I end up with the time. And the time there is going to be 49 no, sorry, 69, 40, 69, 40. And guys, if I put that in in kilowatts and that uh, kilowatt hours and that in kilowatts, then obviously this is going to be hours. Right, guys, that's all for electricity. I hope you had a good time on circuits. We will continue in the next videos to look at mole calculations.